15 minutes of fame. Let's go. Oh, welcome back into the 14A Sports Radio Show. Let's go. All right. That is always the 14 Sports Radio Show brought to you by the Big Apple Sports Palace. Give them a call up for delivery tonight or walk in their front door. But if not, call them up for delivery. 201-858-1075. Wins from the Apple right now. Yeah, I, maybe like a bar pie or something. Oh, it's a bar pie and wins. Yeah, well, Walsh could eat 40 slices of thin crust. <laughs> 24. <laughs> 24. I think mean, that's just a solid number. Didn't he also say he could chuck 40 beers? 40 beers. No, it's 40 beers, 24 slices. That'd be a great night. Oh, my God. That'd be a great I would like to so see that do either. Yeah, no. The, the slices, maybe. I'll, I'll take the uh, the the money line on on you doing neither. <laughs> yeah, no doubt. That that's that's, I'm a, probably, lo- I'm that's probably, a lock of the week. I'm probably minus like two hundred on that. I probably got to <laughs> bet about two hundred to win win a hundy. Right. Walsh, what do you got, kid? Well, Walsh. Oh, I gotta get I, the actually, paper. You know, really quick before we get into it, actually, yeah. while, while Walsh is doing nothing, why don't we just toot our own horns real quick, Molly, for yeah. uh, for making the playoffs in the fantasy. Oh, nice. Well, uh, for today's sports league. An inaugural fantasy football league. I actually. Walsh, uh, how'd you, what happened to you there? Tenth place. Didn't do so well. Oh. Yeah, I actually finished second, so uh, I, yeah, uh, you're, I got you're, a first round bye. easy this week. Yeah, I'm, I'm, yeah. I'm, I'm going to fight to the death this week. You know, week, I, I, I actually, I like, it was a points league, which no one really liked, but whatever. But I like the way the playoffs are set up. So, it's a uh, Royal Rumble. Yeah, exactly. The first two teams have buys, and then and then the next four uh, basically all play each other. And then the it's top two tough. move on, man. It's how we roll. It's how yeah, we roll. I, I, I like it. I never played in a three-receiver league before. It's tough, man. It, it, you don't realize that. The, the depth the, is the, yeah, yeah. Just, yeah. I'm always on the three-receiver league. Yeah, I, I'm familiar with the three-receiver. But the two leagues I made the playoffs in were a two-receiver. Yeah, I don't so like I'm it. I'm struggling there, but. I'll tell you what, I, I had to, this week, I had to sweat it out. Matt alone was, we were neck and neck for a while there. The, to, the, yeah. the bye. Yeah. We're, and the bye is great. I, I mean, you just can't, you can't underrate it. You just you hope know, your team doesn't go off one. You get you're back, off, and, but... and then, you know, third place, you're at least, you know, getting your money back. You know, yeah. you're at least in the money. So. All right. All right. I got I got to shout out to my fantasy football geek. He, he helped me out <laughs> this season. We should have him on next week and, and just check in what, what, what he's doing. All right. Cool. Playoff strategy. We'll look into it. We'll look into it. See if he's available. Uh, I'm betting he is. <laughs> <laughs> uh, fantasy football geek. Duh. All right. Let's uh, we'll get to our picks from last week. I went three and one last week. Uh, under 42, Tampa, Carolina. Uh, Philly with the minus two and a half over Arizona. And the uh, Cincinnati plus two over San Diego. Uh, all big fat winners there. Uh Lock of the week did not go so you well. You should choke, too, because that Jets loss. That was uh, so I don't know. Hey, listen, it's not like I'm calling the plays. You know? Who, who'd you, uh, who was your lock? The Jets? Jets, yeah. Oh, <laughs> nice. yeah. Well, I'm going to chug for that I always one. said the lock should be should be extra, extra yeah, weight. Should but be penalized. Penalized. All right. Uh, you know, Jets, that's what I'm drinking for. I'm going to go with uh, Pittsburgh, minus three, over Miami this weekend. This one's in Pittsburgh. So I'll You're chug the, while you all discuss. The Pittsburgh wave? Yeah. Tomlin, Tomlin, Tomlin tackling Jacoby Jones yeah. on the sideline. That was, I think that that was way too hyped up for what it was. I mean, I don't know how much it really got to the way Jacoby Jones. I mean, it was right on the sideline. I mean, it was. I mean, if, if the Ravens lost the game because of that, it would have been a lot That's more impressive. interesting. I I disagree but, completely. I think Jacoby Jones. Well, uh, they wound up winning, right? So yeah. But so I mean, it, Jacoby it's a mute Jones play. is taking that to the house. No. You, nah, you think so? Nah. You think you really slowed down that much or, I, or changed I, I, his course? I, I, yeah, I really did. Yeah. He really should have just ran into Tomlin. Wouldn't that have been it's an automatic touchdown. touchdown? They said they, the refs could have rewarded him a touchdown anyway. Oh, just for the yeah, interference either way? They absolutely could have, yeah. Um, and they didn't even penalize Tomlin, which was ridiculous. That should have been something. Least. Um, no, it, it's definitely an they interference. They hit him in the pocket. A, That's the first time. I know the Jets coach got a lot of crap for that a the couple years ago. Strength and conditioning yeah. stuck for, his knee out. That, to... was, that was blatantly intentional. No doubt about it. The well, Tomlin so thing, this. the top. I mean, he's saying he wasn't. You know, he just lost place where I he know, was. I know. I mean, it looks like it's intentional. He he said it wasn't. You know. Well, I mean, he's uh, watching the big screen. He's got. No, like, no. Nah, nah. what, what was interesting is they had actually the CBS affiliate in Pittsburgh. They had a good shot where they showed the whole play, and Tomlin actually moves closer to the sideline as the side he's watching what's going on. So. I mean, obviously it was intentional. You can see, like, no yeah. coach is going to stand there watching the big board, know what's going on. He's cracking all his buddies afterwards, you know, laughing about see, it right the, there. I the thought the line. laughing thing was overplayed. I, I don't think the laugh, you know, the laugh is like. Now we're analyzing you, laughs. Yeah. Like, 
That's Did the you see report. the slow motion GIF of him cracking up? <laughs> Did I'm you not... see that on Reddit? You're right. We can't analyze laughs. Yeah, Tomlin. <laughs> You're right. Yeah, Tomlin. What about that laugh? So, no, you know how you get caught sometimes? It's like, oh, shit. You yeah, know, I'm an asshole. Right, yeah, yeah. 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 Whatever. Um, but whatever. He got hit hard, uh, 100, 100K. And they said they might, which I don't get. They said they got to wait to see how the draft order shakes out, and then they might penalize him, which yeah, doesn't make any ridiculous. sense. I don't know. All right, back. But, I mean, to the game. I mean, yeah. I, I like Pittsburgh this week. I mean, Miami seems like I, – I, the Miami team, I don't get it all. I mean, their they're, offensive line is terrible one week, then they show up and play tough versus Carolina. Almost win that game. Should have almost won that game. And then, they, I mean, they whooped the Jets. But I think the Jets are – you know, like their offense is just right. so terrible, so inept. That the Jets are what we thought they were. Indeed. That's who we Shitty. thought they were in week one of the season, right. you know. And they they're finally showing their suicide colors. <laughs> and that was, that was the worst thing that could have happened to the Jets, you know, them showing up and actually doing well. But I like Pittsburgh this week. I'm not going to hate on that pick at all. Yeah, yeah. I, you know, could be very Le'Veon well. Le'Veon Bell, be... is he out for this game? or? Oh, yeah, he, he took a nice crack. shot. Yeah, yeah, with no helmet. I, don't know. I mean, I have that's no one idea, thing because but... that running back situation was hard before he got here. And then now, you know, if you got to go with, I don't know who he's in there. Probably maybe like Redmond Felix or... Jones, something like Felix that. But Jones. you could just plug and play with that team. I mean, listen, all, all these guys, they've been doing it for years there. Uh, I, I just don't like Miami in this one. Uh, Going to be the second straight cold game, you know. I, actually, it wasn't. It's listen, Miami. Cold. Let's not talk about football. Miami. Let's talk about the weather. Listen, Miami, <laughs> fairly warm city. You go the, to the Jets. It wasn't game, even that. It wasn't Jets even that cold. cold. I know. Either. I know. But now they're going to get it with Pittsburgh. Uh, I just think Pittsburgh is going to out physicalize them the whole day. Out I like it. I love it. I love it. I love it. Gotta love it. Love the analysis. All right, somebody All right. else chug a beer. I'll take the first hit for <laughs> New England uh, on the road at, at Texas. Um, oh, I had that game too. I liked them. You know, I, I, I was a little concerned about them coming off the Sunday night game versus Denver there. But, you know, I just thought the Texans rolled over. I thought this was kind of a no-brainer. And actually, I, I don't know if you saw, like, the, the clips afterwards where the Texans defensive lineman was coming oh, out saying that he thought they were Stupid. stealing messages or, you know, they – there's no way they could have known what they were doing because they just put it into practice this week. That's I mean, bananas. I just think that the you got team, beat, bro. You the better beat. team came out and played better, and and you know Brady's looking like old Brady again, and you know, but didn't cover the points. I'll tell you what, he got though, Gronk back. Look, looking, looking, I, I don't like that, that was a great catch by Gronk too. Absolutely, saw that. That's Absolutely. Right. I don't like the play, uh, sure, sure. the Pats. The Pats are going to lose I'll in the put first this round down or the second round of the playoffs again. No, no. they are. No. Cincinnati's going to beat them. No, they they're first not. Round Stop it. Right, right. They'll get the Stop. two seed. The pa- the, the, They're not going to lose at Gillette to the Bengals. The Patriots are not that good, man. They can't stop anyone. But neither is anybody else in the AFC. They, I, I don't think that Patriots I Patriots are the second best team in the AFC. They're better than the Chiefs. I, I think Brady, uh, you know, is, has carried that team all year. a boy Nips. Little, yeah, he had a little. <laughs> ooh, at the end, a little hiccup in this. A little belly I, I, think, I think the Patriots again are. I think they're primed for another for another uh, early round nice. exit out of the playoffs. I really do. I don't see that team being a big team this year. I, I you know, they lost Mayo. They lost Will Fork. That defense can't stop anybody. Yeah, yeah Will Fork's um, a big loss there. You know, like. they're going to outscore everyone in the playoffs. I, I don't see it, man. I, I see the Patriots. I, I think they're gonna get the two seed, but I, I see them. You know, I you know what I think a big part of their thing has been recently. They get no challenge from that division. They get no challenge, and, and they go into the playoffs soft. And, okay, and but it, they beat the Broncos already. They beat some. They've had some pretty I agree. good wins. This no, season. I agree. I, I just don't like them looking, going going down a road. Thing I like I hate the. I had the Patriots going to the Super Bowl preseason pick. Patriots Seahawks Super Bowl. That was my pick. But you know the the loss of Vance Wilfork obviously and OJ devastating. Mayo. Very devastating. Both guys. Just say OJ Mayo. Yeah. You did. Gerard Mayo. Gerard Mayo. <laughs> Mayo. Oh, oh, he oh, I said that twice. boy gets the bills. There you go. OJ. <laughs> but, uh, um, but no, yeah, those are some significant losses. But the thing is, you know, whether one of the – whether Ridley fumbles or anything like that, you can just plug another guy in there. The thing you got to do in the playoffs, cold weather, you got to run that football. Well, one you got to control I mean, the possession. You just got to keep it moving. And Brady will do that. Some of those receivers have to step up. I mean, it's got to be more than Edelman or Vereen coming I mean, back. Just for them week to has week been has been huge. I would like to see yeah. Amendola. He's been huge for my fantasy teams as well. Yeah. Just saying. I'd like to see Amendola be Amendola. Uh, yeah, I mean, they really haven't used him that much. I, you know, well, Amendola has more weeks. more catches than Welker for the year. Wow, that's really. surprising. No. Yeah. Bullshit. He that's does. surprising. What? Yeah, because those early games. Remember, like that check game, he had like 115 like catches. And yeah, like 10 catches. No, he literally had like 17 catches in one game. I gotta see this. Yeah, check all right, it out. but I'm gonna take KC. <laughs> yeah, check it out. <laughs> check it out, dude. <laughs> <laughs> Gnarly, bro. 
Uh, I'm going to take KC on the road at Washington. I think they, they finally get back on track. Oh, I, I mean, that they got – Manning smoked them last week, and I was really surprised. I mean, I, I thought one of KC's strength was their My secondary. My buddy Marcus but. Cooper – you know what, Marcus Cooper uh, filled in. Now he's starting corner at, at uh, in Kansas City, and he played very well early on. And he um, just got smoked. But he didn't even week. start when he's at Rutgers. He was barely a starter. He came and played well, and he got destroyed. Decker yeah, just I mean, lit him I up, mean that, was, that was just a crazy game, a crazy fantasy game for Decker. I mean, but I, I think Casey gets off the schneid here. I mean, Washington's looks like they've just been struggling. Just to put points on the board. I mean, defensively, they're not a good team. So I'll take them on the road. I, I, I actually have the same thing. I like Kansas City also uh, to bounce back with a win here. Um, keep that division at least a little bit interesting. Uh, look, looks like Kansas City probably slotted to that five spot. But, uh, yeah, I think, I, think they, uh, I think they win easily uh, against Washington, you know, who RG3 is a show of himself. I, I don't care what anyone says. Yeah, and, uh, someone really came out last week and said, you know, well, he's not the same kind of it player. It was Ahmad Brooks two weeks ago. Oh, two weeks, right, right. And then even uh, Antro Roll does the weekly spot on the fan right he came out and, and said basically something to similar fact of like saying that he doesn't look like he's gonna he's gonna be a warrior he's gonna come out and play and yeah and show up as much as he can but you know just saying he doesn't look right and i mean it, it's interesting that those that are coming out and say it, but those are the guys that see it Absolutely. play in and play out like you know you can see how a guy goes down 100%. see how a guy gets you know up after a hit and you see the grimace or you, the... you, you could tell jpp actually caught rg3 from behind i'm sorry top Tough. caught rg3 from behind I mean, yeah. if you remember that game last year, um, it was during a playoff push. I remember I was at in, Washington. I was in Chicago. Yeah, yeah. and actually and Eli Eli came back and and won that game. Oh, the, the home RG3, game for the Giants. The home game. Yeah. Oh yeah, but he RG3 was three. Just killed him. He just was killed all. I, I was at that game, yeah. and he was he could have ran around there as long right. as he wanted right. to. He, and none of those guys were catching him. Right. And 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 even when the Giants had to go there at Washington, I mean RG three was a difference maker in that. Then winning that game. And, and you know now you can. It's not him. Yeah, you know, he's not the same guy. When when that when he's not that big a threat, that spread option isn't as effective, right? Because you you know, Alpha Morris they basically yeah. shut Alpha Morris down. And, and it looked like that's what the Giants were doing. They were they were focusing on on the the running back. Absolutely shut and just saying, all right, and, go ahead, RG three, because we'll catch us. you. Yeah, absolutely. You know, so. but I like that Kansas City too. I don't know that that line seems off to me. Um, yeah, I, I don't get that line. That line's a little fishy. But just KC minus I, three I or. Yeah, I had it at two, but uh, but but that line's a little fishy. I, I don't care. Kansas City's a better team. Uh, coming off a loss to Denver, I think they go with the Washington. Washington can't stop anybody, and and you got to give Alex Smith a little bit of credit uh, against Denver. He played very well. Yeah. Uh, you know those those receivers got to catch the ball a little bit better. Yeah. Yeah. There's some big drops. But uh, I like that game also, so I have that one. All right, I got two things here. Uh, keep it on with the Kansas City Washington team. I'm actually going to go over. That's going to be my second pick. It's over 45 in that game. That'll be my second. And Wes Welker has 68 catches this year, and Amendola has 39. Someone lied to me. <laughs> <laughs> someone's was an some, idiot and believe that. Was someone trying to trade Amendola to you? Did you no. Really? Why do you got to bring stats and facts into this conversation, six, you jerk? All right, Demarius Thomas, 67 catches. Maybe Decker, someone else. 63, Wes Welker, 68. But... Yeah, not even close. Edelman? Edelman. 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 That's who it was. Now we got to go all the way back to the Patriots (laughs) site. Edelman has more catches. My apologies. And Edelman, no. Edelman has been nuts this year. He's he's been... One of those uh, white receivers has more than the other... Even though he kind of white receiver. Yeah, he kind of phased out after after a couple of games. But Adam yeah. has more catches. I he, had a, he had a pass. There you go. Pass. 70. 70 okay. for Mr. Edelman. All right. All right. Edelman. All right. All right. All right. So, All right. so you, t- you got the over yes. in the KC Washington game. Last week, uh, I went 2-2. Two two. Uh, had Seattle. Easy. Uh, had the Giants. Uh, laid a point and a half. Um, I lost out of Patriots also. Um What's the other game I had? I lost on another game. Oh, I lost on Arizona. Uh, Philly put it on him pretty good. Um, Watch Philly, out for Philly. Philly. Yeah, Philly, you know, I, I, I'm i staying away from Philly for the rest of the year. I don't know what to expect out of them. Uh, you know, Nick Foles is showing he could play, man. He absolutely he is. He finally uh, threw Cooper the interception, but it was count. called back. Riley Cooper is becoming, you know, a legit weapon. Yeah, um, yeah, Jeets. Yeah, yeah. Jeets. <laughs> and, yeah, uh, So I, I went to it, too. So I'll two to the house. All right. All right. Uh, I, what uh, what pick you got going forward so we can discuss? All right. Well, I had uh, I had the Kansas City game also. Um, all right. I'll take uh, – I'll go uh, – you get back on the Jets. Uh, Jets laying three <laughs> points against Oakland. 
Uh, give me the Raiders. Oh, oh man, okay. Okay. The Raiders. Right. black and silver. You know, I love I love going against the Jets. It's just one of the things I like. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I was going to say, before that Baltimore win in that game, I was going to say that just always go against Mully when he bets on the Jets. But, <laughs> but it seems like the, their true Shh, colors are finally it. shown. Oh, look at this. He's doing pretty well here. He's doing, he's come doing, on, baby. Come on. Come on. He's doing work. Oh, I like man. <laughs> With just a little dribble. Look at How yeah, you but, feeling? Welcome back. Hi. How are we doing? <laughs> <laughs> how are we? Welcome into the Word Today Sports Radio Show. How are you oh, doing? That was and welcome eight. back to Matty Moles. That was, <laughs> that was this is eight, Vern. That was an A-plus uh, truck. That was Just like Rex Ryan's draft class. A plus. Maybe for the players we should get. <laughs> <laughs> Am I discombobulated? For, for Just the, uh, a little. For the playoffs, maybe we should do uh, some like beer funnels, something like that. I was never Just into spice that. it up. I never did it. Yeah, well, like a funnel? Point totals? I mean, I've done it before, but I was never, I was never into that. Maybe a keg stand will do. Yeah, maybe we'll, let's just get the cocaine. We'll just pour it out. Hello! Now Uncle, we're talking. Uncle Rara. <laughs> <laughs> and this line is brought to you by the Big Apple Sports Power. <laughs> and the, the next line I'll pick. Hold on. Let me <laughs> Could you All imagine right. that was our show? Don that would be, be so It's proud. not that far off, is it? But, um, <laughs> yeah, I mean, I, I don't know how anybody could have any confidence in what the Jets are doing right now, <clears throat> especially on the offensive end. I mean, just keep on putting their, their defense in bad situations. And, you know, the defense can only do so much. Especially, I mean, with Milner being weak on the corner and Cromartie's banged up. Yeah, that whole secondary. Just, Ed you know. Reed, he, he's he's walking dead. He, he hasn't done anything. Um, but Rashawn Jennings looks like a player, right? They they gave Dallas a run for their money. Yeah, uh, I mean, actually I, had the backdoor cover on Thanksgiving. I guess you got to yeah. wait and see. Uh, I mean, he got he went out of that game after getting hit in the head. Jennings, uh, I think he, Jennings, Jennings did, he had like uh, but they 15 said, carries for 38 yards with the two TDs, two really. which is which is a savior yeah. for fantasy purposes. Uh, but um, but yeah, I mean, they said he showed positive signs, but McFadden's back in the picture now too. So who knows what's gonna happen? I think there. McFadden's I mean, definitely gone out of. Oakland. I'm 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 betting against that Jet offense. That's that's what yeah, this pick comes no, down no. to. And, and I mean, the Jets. I'm gonna go way. with. The, I mean, it's not one of my picks, but I'm gonna go with the Jets this week. You know, they disappoint you. No, if it's not one of your picks. Then no. Uh, then no, I'm going against you. Talk about here. I don't like the pick. That's what I'm saying. I don't care. Do you Ooh. know what I'm saying? Who's winning in the, in the pick 'em thing? Uh, you got a game lead. Yeah, so lead. quiet down. Well, I yeah. just had a three and one. You had a two and two. So and who's winning? You're up a little bit. Yeah, <laughs> so. a little bit. We got more weeks. Honestly, and, and unfortunately, I wasn't here to uh, make the picks. I would, I had the Thanksgiving games all wrapped up, man. I had them. Yeah, perfect. Well, we all did, but then I told Nipsey, I was like, ah, I got to go uh, wait, against. We you. all did, but you didn't. Well, but cause <laughs> you I, didn't. no, because I was being didn't. a kind soul because as I said, eh, you know what? I'll just go with Dallas on this yeah, one. Yeah, so you didn't. <laughs> yeah, but I was being nice. We all had it. We when, all had it. I, well, since when are you having nice? I don't believe but, that for a second. But I'll ask real quick here. I, I was kind of don't be back fresh, and forth on it. Um, Giants D. This weekend against San Diego or Raiders versus Jets? Fantasy purposes. Raiders. 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 Yeah, all right. I dropped the Giants seed to start the Raiders. I think that Giants Chargers matchup. game is going to be an absolute shootout. Like 38 35. I'm hoping, knock on wood, that Hakeem Nix comes to like this. Now, let me ask you something. Is this, I mean, it can't be because Eli's been in the league for a while now, but it seems like this is Eli's first trip to San Diego. No, like, no, they've been there it's before. Not, all right, but it's not like San Diego has this, like, you know, Philly fan base where they would absolutely hate his guts, but you know. Oh, they would. I mean, I, I, oh, they've been there before, yeah. and Can I, I think. Want to um, play there? I, I'll be honest. I know they definitely lost once there. I don't know if the I know, so there, long ago, but, so but long that, ago. But... Honestly, that San Diego crowd. It's, yeah, it's yeah, so it's weak. nothing. It's, it's crowd, nothing. Man. It's nothing. It really, what do they care? You know oh no shit, cap. dude! 80, we got a touchdown, bro. It's Eighty degrees. San Diego is one of my favorite places on dude, earth. Dude, I, I never had been. Antonio awesome. Gates on my fantasy team, bro. San Diego is unbelievable. Uh, I'm a huge San Diego fan. Uh, but, <laughs> no, this, <laughs> the, the, the city. city. Yeah, yeah, right. the city. <laughs> oh, I know what you meant. Yeah, no, what for? No one. San Diego. Wales vagina. The the. All right. Wow! Wow! Uh, no, but San Diego, if you you know, they just hang out on the beach all day. They, no, nah. no one cares. You can't hate that. You can't hate that. It's, no. it's only cold weather weather cities are like hardcore yeah. sports fans, yeah. right? Because you have nothing else Boston, to do. Boston people are yeah. assholes. Boston, Philly, New York, New York, Chicago. Oh, I mean, it's Chicago. Yeah, Chicago, yeah. Chicago, Chicago down, a lot of assholes. The east and northern Chicago's section. a great town. Chicago, Green Bay. I mean, you know, it's like right. You have nothing else Actually, to do. Actually, tell you the truth, I've heard multiple stories where the Green Bay Packers fans are the nicest people in the entire world, like. They like I had friends that went there for a game the the first time that the Giants went to the Super Bowl against the Patriots that year. 
you know, great story from the parking lot. Like they they roll up in this Giants painted bus, you know, just total Giants things. And like they get off the bus and they see all these Green Bay people waiting for them, and they're just like. Oh, how you doing? Oh, you guys want to come tailgate with us? Eat some yeah. cheese with yeah. us. <laughs> Would you like the fondue for The Broadwurst. Well, isn't everyone fat? And in, it's all, uh, and, and everything's cheap yeah. there. And it's like, for the pushing. Yeah. Like Wisconsin people apparently are just the nicest people of all time. All right, man. Well, let's go. Let's go. Let's go. They would not like our radio show. <laughs> <laughs> I, I heard yes. we're huge in Wisconsin. <laughs> huge. Sheboygan? Sheboygan? Would I, even right. uh, the, when the predictor comes on, he, he always references our, our East Coast flavor. <laughs> uh, that's code for you no, guys are ass. No, no, no offense to family friends. Just smoke cigars. All right. That's I, I got to take, take another hit for last week. Uh, St. Louis. I took him as the upset versus San Fran. That did not work. They hung in there, but I mean, the San Fran D actually finally showed its colors, I felt like. They finally. Well, they did that up. against Washington, too. And well, Washington, I wasn't surprised about. But I thought St. Louis, I thought St. Louis's D could, could hold Kaepernick and them down. They kind of did. Um, kind of did. But, you know, they still got 23 points, and they really couldn't move the ball at all for San Fran. So I'll take that for that. I mean, I won Seattle. I won Indy last week. Luckily, I feel like Indy. I, and Indy's another team I don't that, understand at all that right is now. Not a game. Like, I had that. I had Tennessee on the uh, on the internet pick them. Um, you know, the internet I, pick them? Well, the picks what, that what, I what, – what, what, what do you go on the internet picks? Nipsey. Pick it's Nipsey. I do my own what, thing. What do I do my own thing on the radio. On the internet. Really. You should uh, say it. Just, or on the internet. The web? The World Wide Web, Michael? <laughs> what, 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 I have what, been saying what you, internet you a lot serve it? What did you serve <laughs> on, Michael? <laughs> it's the mouse. It's the mouse, Nipsey. <laughs> nah, but, you know, I had Tennessee in that one. Put that online, uh, you know, for my internet claim to fame. But – you know, Tennessee, they definitely had the opportunity to at least score the touchdown there to, to cover it at least. Uh, they had the opportunity to stop Indy on a third down there at the end. Yeah. Uh, you know, Indy kept moving the ball down. I feel like Tennessee just let him go in the end zone so that yeah. they could have another opportunity with the ball. Uh, props to the red zone for showing all that. Or else I would have never, never had any <laughs> idea. But, uh, but yeah, yeah, Indy, I, I don't like them this week no, in Cincinnati. Yeah. I do well, not I like them. I like them going down the first round of the playoffs, but for this week, for this pick, I'm taking Baltimore minus seven versus the Vikings. You you have an agreement on this one? That is also my and, lock of the week. I mean, it's just Baltimore at home. Obviously, they showed they're a tough, tough place to play. The Vikings, I mean, besides Adrian Peterson, really got nothing going on. Cordero Patterson is showing some, so some flashes, some flashes yeah. lately. I, yeah. I liked him. I was a big uh, – Matthew Berry was, was talking him up non, nonstop for fantasy guy this year. So I grabbed him in a bunch of leagues. I think I grabbed him in the Forte Sports League. Didn't really pan out. I mean, but he really doesn't have anybody to get him the ball. So, I mean, I, I'll just take Baltimore. I mean, knowing that, I mean, the Vikings stink. I don't – Ponder, I think, got hurt again in the last game right. versus the Bears. Yeah, it looks like Castle's going to roll. Castle's yeah. starting, yeah. Yeah, here's my thing. But I got I got a chuck up one for the uh, St. Louis. Here's my – I, I was talking to Richie during Sunday, uh, during Sunday football last week. I said to him, I was like, whoever Minnesota is playing next week, just bet the fucking house on them. Because you know what? Minnesota has played two overtime games in a row. And, you know, they obviously went the distance in overtime. The first one there with Green Bay. <laughs> they went the distance right there at Green Bay in the whole overtime. So that's five quarters of football. Their last game against Chicago, they played in – with two minutes left in overtime. This is just a worn-out football team that really doesn't have anything to play for right now. And that's what I was saying before, why I have them so high in like that mock draft. I don't see Minnesota winning another game this year. I could see them shutting down AP at some point, which I don't like. God, we, I, we, I don't think any of us like that. No. We all got in fantasy, but at least I got the, the game. I don't hard. know if AP will let him shut him down. <laughs> that's true. <laughs> yes, like he's I'll run right through you I'll like right. demon. But you know, again, Listen, Leslie. they gotta give him the ball. This is that, that's, they don't give him the this ball. This is just a worn out Minnesota Vikings I mean, he team had right now. Two hundred yards last week. I mean, it's not, like... right, not like, but throughout the course of the season, I think there were some games yeah. that I mean, remember the Giant game, the Giant Monday Night game. Well, that's they what, get I mean, away. From well, them. they were just stacking against. Last them. year, Minnesota no got to right. the they playoffs the fifty-five times. Last year, Minnesota got to the playoffs. Yeah, but at the end, this at team end, is not much course. different. And I felt like last year they just rode AP, and I feel like this year they they were trying to do something different or something right. I agree. The, I, I, the whole quarterback well, carousel, I don't, I don't blah, blah, think blah, they, like, a lot the, of wear and tear on those tires from last year. I mean, you don't get to have the second best rushing season in the league without going. Yeah, but I don't Knicks think AP's any less explosive. No, I wouldn't say that, but I would. I, I would definitely say that they were trying. Strong legs. Listen, with his old, with Very his, thick, with his thick legs, <laughs> just like Anthony Barr. But just with you know, with old age, you know, maybe they want to preserve him. Maybe they want to preserve his trade value for this offseason. I don't off think they're season. just that good, and they're not good at calling plays. 
Well, the I think quarterback Lizzie, situation I think Frazier is should get by. I think he's terrible. Gone. He might be. Yeah. Is he even alive on the sidelines? No, he just... <laughs> he doesn't even look like he's involved in the it's game. It's one of those wax figurines. Hey, yeah. <laughs> Here's my Leslie Frazier face. <laughs> Why is it so creepy? <laughs> That's just Leslie. He, yeah, he, That's he doesn't... Leslie. His name's Leslie to start. Hello, I Leslie. Remember when, when they I was... should be making dresses, brother. One of the weirdest <laughs> names I've ever heard. I remember I, I, a kid was from Bayonne. I played like PAL basketball with him. His name was Lester. That's <laughs> Lester's a solid. How name. are you an eleven-year-old Lester? Lester? You know your life is gonna be horrible. Like who's naming a kid Can't Lester? Lester? <laughs> it was so easy. Lester to molester. Like oh, it was yeah. just. All right. So what was the bet it's you like, lost? Li- it was like lined up. <laughs> Should have been a priest. <laughs> oh, that's not. No, good. that's no. not good. <laughs> I like that one. I had that same double day. <laughs> Think about Lester for the, whole, for the last two weeks. I was waiting to bust that one out. <laughs> Make me lean back in my executive chair and laugh about yeah, it. This is not, <laughs> I'm not. I'm not. Anti, I'm not. Uh, I'm getting an executive next week. Let me just tell you that. Well, I'm not giving up the executive, so it's all right. Uh, I'll share. We'll fight share. to the death. All right. I like that. We should air that. What else we got? All right, I'm up. Right. Yeah. All right. You need your lock of the week. Well, yeah, because Walsh, you got I three in, right? Yeah, I got three. All right, I got uh. I don't, I don't even... All right, we'll make this lock. What the hell's the difference? <laughs> lock it up, baby. <laughs> uh, the lock you know is no with? different than anything else. I'll go with uh, Seattle. I'll go with Seattle getting points against right. San Francisco. Ooh. Three points against San Francisco. Upset special right here for me. All right. And me, too. Yeah. Uh, Ooh, uh, we all got beers on it. Roll on Seattle. Yep. So you got to chug four if you lose. Why? I have Seattle. <laughs> yeah. If like, San, why? We why? got San Francisco. Well, you have San Francisco. We both got San Francisco. Wait, no, I got Seattle. Oh, you got Seattle. Yeah. Oh, then Wait, I got to chuck. Yeah. Who's getting the points? Seattle. Yeah, that's not an upset. You got to call it two. Oh, and... San Francisco at home. I'm sorry. Yeah. Yeah, no. Yeah, Seattle's uh, at two and a half. Upset. Two and a half. Yeah, Seattle's getting points. We'll call it two and a half because this Fuck is a tough me. one. That was yeah. my, that was what my are you end. talking about? Nips, you throw me all off here. Seattle, yeah, uh, I like Seattle over San Francisco. And I, I think Seattle will be I, – I think San Francisco will be more competitive. Than they were uh, week two with the uh, addition of Crabtree. Manny hands oh, back. That's not going to matter. Uh, it does. He's still does. testing the but wheels. He's I think, still testing I think, the wheels. I think Seattle is just a better team. Crabtree had I one think, catch last week. I agree. But I think he could win a one-on-one matchup. Um, no, I, th- I think, think so. I, I, think he's, I think he's a difference, but I don't think he's going to – he's a difference maker in the game. Um, I think C- uh, San Francisco is a significantly better team uh, with Crabtree. But – I think Seattle is still uh, the class of that division, the class of that conference. Right now, the class of the NFL. And, you know, if they're getting points, I don't care if they're playing in San Francisco. Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. Every time. And here's another thing. I think, you know, we we talk about it all the time now that uh, viewers have more information out there. You know, they can – they can go on, on all these different weather.com right. you check can, the you weather can, you forecast. You can do all that. Weatherchannel.com. I mean, so much diff- more different than weather.com. But, I mean, you know, I, I see fans maybe thinking like, oh, you know, Seattle, they locked up the division. They're going to hold up against San Francisco. No, they hate their guts. You know, we saw what happened the first time that these guys played. Seattle absolutely dominated them. Right? And, and, and I could see that happening I'm again. I'm like a minute late on that. <laughs> <laughs> right. Are they working all right? <laughs> But I was trying to figure out who my upset special was going to be. <laughs> <laughs> but fuck it. I'm not picking any upset special. I'm oh. taking San Fran in this game. I don't care. All right. That's fine. We could do that. We could roll with that. So what was the lock of the week? Well, I haven't locked up anything. Oh, okay. That's but fine. I'm just taking San Fran. I'm not taking any All right, upset so special. So me and you have Seattle. You have All San right. Fran. Why are you taking San Fran and not Seattle? I feel like Seattle. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go to Walshy. I think Seattle coming off the Monday night big win at home versus New Orleans. And... The last three times, the last two times these teams have played, San Fran has gotten their asses beat by Seattle. Yeah, like, and I think they're gonna bad. want this a little bit more. I don't see that their defense being that much different, and I feel like San Fran just gonna want a little more, and they're gonna make the, the plays to do it. I think you said Crabtree coming back is a big, a big thing, and I think Kaepernick needs to show something this game that he can lead them past elite defenses because he hasn't done it versus Seattle yet once. And I think he does it this week. Not, I don't know, man. We've yeah. seen a, we've seen something a little off with San Fran this year. They're not definitely not the same team that they were last Kaepernick's year. Kaepernick's not the same player. And I, I think ju- that's what it comes down to. And I just think that. Well, he also hasn't had a crap tree all year either. S- Seattle just wants to just 
<laughs> bitch the Niners. Just a whiff of that shit. <laughs> oh, yeah. I like oh, it. My I like goodness. it. Feeling nice. Feeling Getting nice. a contact high. <laughs> 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 Gotta love it. Gotta love it. But, uh, yeah. I I'm think hungry. <laughs> Se- I think Seattle might win this game by a touchdown. Yeah, yeah bro. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, bro. A touchdown? Yeah, dude. Just one? Yeah, just one. All right. I might fail a drug test. Right <laughs> <now>. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing happened Holy on Jesus. set, just in the audience, just in the audience. <laughs> All right, my last pick, uh, uh, my upset special, I got Jacksonville uh, beating Houston. I think they're going to win the game outright. Again, I know Houston put up a fight against uh, the Patriots, but uh, Jacksonville, I think they're 3-1 in the last four games. They've been playing Gus, really tough. Gus, Gus Bradley has those boys playing, yeah. um, and I, I like the points of that game. Give me the points. I think Jacksonville um, – is three, a better team right now. They're three playing and a half, better. Yeah. Three and a half. Yeah, and they're both know. coming off tough games. I mean, you know, yeah. uh, they had that game in Cleveland, Jacksonville. Right. That, and that was a, actually that was a really good game. You think Jacksonville, Cleveland, but that was a really good game. Josh Gordon went bananas. Oh, oh my gosh, man. great game between Gordon, uh, Jeffrey, and Decker. Decker. I mean, yeah. it was just the, like that through fantasy. If you had any of those guys, it was you just had like, any, like like two of those guys uh, that happened oh, in a yeah. couple leagues. I've, now, I wish um, I was on one of those one of those teams. Very interesting here with Jacksonville Houston because I think if Houston loses this game, they are all but assured the number one spot in the draft. So they're playing to lose. I like it. Yeah, so and then Jacksonville, you know, if they lose, they can tumble down a little bit. Like again, I have them at seven. I think they're gonna win this game tomorrow night. I think they're actually gonna win another game after this. They have a pretty easy schedule going down to the wire, but um again, you know, this this is a very meaningful game in the sense of the NFL draft, not you know, obviously. Well, yeah, it's, it's uh, like the. Yeah, but I, I think, I mean, and again, you know, give Houston credit for showing up against the Patriots, but I like what Gus Bradley's doing down there. I mean, yeah. I, I think, you yeah, know, no. he, they're, they're obviously playing hard, you know, winning games. Um, they got a little momentum going for them. And anytime, you know, uh, they're at best even, you know, I'll take the points every time. No doubt about it. What if yeah, Gus Bradley's no, like, fuck it, I'm going to roll with Chad Henney? Why would he do that? I don't know. <laughs> oh, like you mean for the, for, yeah. the play, like for the draft next year? Uh, no, I mean, Gus Bradley. I, I mean, like you, you got to, you know, teams, especially the NFL. I think the NFL is the one league. Um, you know, you can't play for draft picks. No, no one ever. You don't no know one's gonna want because we, we talked wanna. about this too. About like, there's just there's too many guys on the roster that are just too proud to sit there and be like, right. I'm yeah. gonna lay down. Right. And they said, you know, your your next job, it, it's all about the film. You know, if is a team is going to yeah, sign you, the average three and a half years in the league. Yeah, absolutely. So, like the whole laying down thing, I, you know, that doesn't happen in the NFL. I mean, look at the Giants, Tampa Bay, perfect example. I mean, their season was all but over, and they come to play because they're playing for their livelihood. You know, that's their job. But you know? it'll be so interesting. Though. I mean, another team that just got sank in by by drafting a quarterback way too early, Blaine Gabbert. Yeah. You know, I mean, so do they? You know, do they not draft the quarterback this year because they don't like a guy or they get yeah. something else? Well, they're in an interesting situation. If they don't get Bridgewater, then, you know, do they reach for a Brett Huntley or a Derek Carr? I mean, Which, you uh, know what? Uh, it, is it a reach, though? I mean, you know, just just because I know, like, our guys like Kuiper, right? That's who we kind of know is like Jen. But, you know, these NFL scouts, they, they view things differently. I mean, not all the big-time quarterbacks have come on the top. I mean, look at Russell Wilson. You just said before, Jacksonville picked a punter before they picked, you know, they passed on Russell Idiots. Wilson. I mean, so, Tom Brady. Yeah, I mean, Tom, yeah. Is, is Tom the, Brady the, is an absolute anomaly, no doubt about true it. Blood but, so for life. But, you know, <laughs> are they going to pass on someone or reach for someone? I don't know. We'll see. All right. All right. Nip's got one you off. And me? Uh, I'm going to go Arizona at home versus St. Louis. Minus six. I think mean, this Arizona defense is legit. I mean, they had a tough loss versus Philly last week when they were they were out of the game pretty bad. I think they came back, made a game of it. But I just like I like this defense. Like you know, I saw I was watching a lot of that St. Louis San Fran game last week. Clemens just can't move the ball at all, and unless Zach Stacy can get going, they really have no offense. Or if Tavon Austin gets a big play, uh, but I don't see St. Louis being able to move the ball. I see Arizona getting back on the winning ways and really actually making a push for the for that last wild card spot. And I I think that we'll have three teams out of the West going in. Yeah, you the think Arizona's this year. gonna yeah. The predictor would like that. I mean the NFC North <laughs> fell apart. I mean like all those teams that were the well, Bears. Rodgers got hurt. Yeah. Color got hurt. Although uh, the Bears, you know, Rodgers is out. McCown's played all right. But actually, you know what? Nah. I should I shouldn't have said that because Carolina's getting one of those spots, so You're right. Carolina's getting the other so, spot. So actually. 
Hey, don't worry yeah, about it. Whatever, that. they'll win this page. <laughs> <laughs> Carolina's going to free fall. So who is the NFC player? It's going to be Seattle, New Orleans, whoever wins the North, whoever wins Looking the East. Looking like Detroit, the Dallas. Carolina, and uh, then who's the I other San Fran. I wouldn't count San Dallas Fran. in yet. Well, I think well, the Dallas Eagles are. The Eagles are in. There. Well, the thing is, the so Eagles, Eagles have the winner Eagles of the travel East, to Dallas. The winner of the East, the winner of the North. Week. Then you're gonna have Seattle, New Orleans, the Panthers, San Fran. That's what the yeah. that's what's gonna stack up as. Yeah. And what are we looking like on the other side? So you're gonna have Denver. Yeah, well, it's already New set England, with probably Cincy, Baltimore. Baltimore. Baltimore no. has that six spot. Well, well, that's still six. that's well that's up that's up in the air. That's the only thing yet to be decided. We can probably that six spot in the. That was, that was where is, the Jets the, were. Uh, the one yeah. thing is that Baltimore and Miami now are the only six and sixes, and Baltimore just beat, beat Miami, yeah. so they have the they head-to-head head against them. Game advantage. That's probably where. And Baltimore is probably going to beat Minnesota this week. I think we can go ahead and pencil that in. You pencil it in? Yeah. Right. You want to you pen it in? Or just I, I, could, I could pen, pencil. Maybe erasable pen it in. Sharpie? No? Yeah. Yeah, let's go Sharpie. Sharpie it in. Fair yeah. enough. All right. All right, we're done with tonight? Yeah, that's it. Finally. Yeah. I know. I said maybe. I may- thought it went quick until I, yeah, we, I said maybe it just we, got long. Yeah, I said maybe we could be done by 10 o'clock tonight. Not happening. All right, so for the rest of the 14A cast, Molly, Nipsey, and Decision Dave in on the ones and twos this evening. <laughs> yeah, I don't love it. All right. We are 14A Sports. We'll see you guys next Wednesday. Peace. <laughs> 15 minutes.